Over the last 20 years, I probably have photographed, I don't know, thousands of people, a close-up style. I would photograph President Obama, homeless people on the street, a whole variety of people. I grew up in Germany and I've been living in New York for 25 years now. I couldn't even say the word, I'm a fan of something. I never was intimidated by these famous people. I built this uh, series and uh, put up people for comparison to explore everybody's humanity, to build a democratic platform that uh, allows comparison. I went to the White House a few times. In 1999, the New Yorker sent me to the White House to photograph Bill Clinton. At the end of the shoot, I said, oh, Mr. President, I know you love playing golf. I took a golf club and put it in the stand case between my light stand. So the first time with President Obama, I had maybe two hours, the second time 20 minutes, and the last time I photographed him in the White House, and I think I had about three minutes. <laughs> my close-up pictures, these lights are actually fluorescent lights. You see the wrinkles, a little bit higher speed film. It's also has a little bit more of a painterly quality and also a very shallow depth of field. It really brings out the eyes and the lips really draw you in. I think all portrait photographers are looking for some intimate moments, you know, for some vulnerability. A lot of, um, even if they're super famous, once you sit down with them and people are actually kind of shy almost. Rihanna um, was one of them. Actors are really hard because they're constantly acting. I looked at a previous shoot I've done with George Clooney, made some prints and asked him to, to wear his own eyes. Coming up with these ideas is always is kind of the hardest part for me. Jeff Koons wearing a, a flowers in his hair with a, fa a face painted white. People say he's kind of, his work is kind of kitschy and so that idea came about. Usain Bolt as this pose after every race, and it looked like a sculpture at the Metropolitan Museum. Quentin Tarantini's uh, over-the-top movies. Everybody thinks about something very violent, and I bring in this like symbol of peace. Sometimes people think that I'm friends with all these famous people, but it's really a business transaction. You know? You're a musician, and you want to sell your new record, or you're an actor, and you have to do promote a movie. Everybody just wants to take a simple portrait where they look 10 years younger and 20 pounds lighter. Photographers that try to showcase their take on that person rather than trying to make the person they're photographing happy. I'm most excited when I do my personal projects. I definitely have a strong social component to my work. The identical series, 100 sets of twins. Photograph over 300 homeless people on a street corner in Los Angeles. I posted on my Instagram featuring them and their stories. I photographed almost all professional female bodybuilders over a span of five years. Over 100 drag queens. The whole indigenous group in uh, Africa, 120 Hadza. I've never done any beautifying <laughs> pictures of myself. We need to be more honest with ourselves. Vanity is only becoming more and more pronounced in our society, and everybody is vain. For so many rich and super successful people, and they're oftentimes very troubled and seem depressed and unhappy. The happiness has to come from within and doesn't depend on and this idea of the more I have, the better I look.